angle that it attacks the coast is key. If the hurricane were to come straight on in, then that right quadrant is where the highest winds and water are. If you shut your eyes and envision a hurricane, what do you see? You see palm trees, you see rain moving sideways. You don't see the ocean coming inland. Contrary to popular belief, wind is not the biggest killer in a hurricane. It is often water, and more often than not, it is storm surge. The worst I've ever seen as far as storm surge was Katrina. We measured over 28 feet of ocean rise. 90% of fatalities in tropical systems because the water is not the wind. So you have to get away from the water and then make sure you just kind of hide from the wind. That's where the new emphasis on hurricane awareness is headed. So first of all, let's talk about what storm surge is. A storm surge is just the force of the wind pushing, pushing the ocean onto the land. And so it just pushes the water inland where it normally does not go. Usually the people in the first row of homes along the beach will have no problem being convinced that the ocean might invade their home. Residents that live maybe a further inland might not realize that they could be impacted by surge. So it's so important to take time now to look at potential storm surge flood maps that are out for this area. So when people see that, hopefully that convinces them that the emergency managers are telling them to evacuate for a really good reason. Storm surge graphics are now being used to help people understand how bad the storm surge is going to be in terms of how high the water is going to get at any given coastal location. And so this graphic accomplishes that. It tells you how deep the water could be and how far inland the water could go. Even though it rarely happens in any given storm, you must prepare for the worst case scenario. And I was looking through the damage as usual and the husband and wife who owned the the residents where I was at came up to me. They had looked at our forecast and made a conscious decision to get out and it probably saved their life. And it's those little moments in time that drive you and propel you to make it just a little bit better. You know your risk, right? So if you're right on the coast, if, if you're out on the barrier islands, you know you're gonna get the storm surge. So you have to have a place to go. 